What's up, hand dudes? Peter Von Panda. Hey, earmuffs. They're not just hands over the ears anymore. Hey, I picked up this. This is uh, the Howard Light by Honeywell. Uh, they're called the Shooters Electronic Earmuffs, and you are probably going to be familiar with these because a lot of guys use them for sport shooting. And one of the reasons is uh, they're electronic, so they kind of pass through some sound, but they take out the real high, you know, uh, volume, high decibel crack of the gunshots. Now, that's pretty cool because you can go to a range and actually talk, uh, you know, give commands, give instruction to people, and then still shoot, and you kind of don't have to worry about, you know, all the sound being filtered out, and so you won't even be able to hear anything, but uh, you won't get, I don't know, kind of permanent hearing loss from gunshot cracks. Now, it's kind of like, to me, it's like when I used to do some welding, you want to shield your eyes, shield your eyes from the welding light because it can burn your retinas. And then when I used to see video of people welding on TV, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you can't look directly at the weld. But you know what? Light coming off a of TV is never going to be as uh, high intensity as the welding light itself. And so you don't, obviously don't have to shield your eyes when watching welding on TV. And these earmuffs are kind of like that. You know, what they do let through is always filtered and maybe loud, I suppose, but never loud enough to create any damage. Kind of like watching bright lights or a nuclear blast on TV. You aren't going to have the effects of it on your eyes. Now, here is how it comes. They're about, they're under 30 bucks, which is the most exciting part about this, you know. And so that you can get electronic headphones. The ones I've always used are just like the ones that guys wear on tarmac. I mean, they just block out all the sound and so they're good they protect your hearing but the bad thing is when someone's like hey stop shooting or hey uh how do i clear this you can't hear it you'd be like what and so guys with the electronic headphones are always like oh my gosh why is that guy screaming anyway here they are they come wrapped up like this it's kind of cool that they package up in a small you know softball sized package it looks like they also come with this three and a half millimeter uh cable which I'm not actually sure what that's for yet. And then it comes with two AAA batteries. So, you know, for your 38 bucks, or 28 bucks, $30, you know, you, you get everything that you need, I think, to get working right away. Now, I do want to test these with you, and I'm not, I, I, I know how I'm going to do it. It's not going to be completely scientific. It's not going to be scientific at all, really. Um, I'm just going to put uh, my phone in audio recording mode like voice recorder mode, and then I am going to speak and use a, a couple of um, heavy sticks and smash them together to create kind of a cracking sound. And then I will put the headphones over the phone microphone and then just do the same thing and see if we can, one, hear me talking, but then kind of have the decibel level of the cracking noise that I create come down a little bit. I don't know if it'll work or tell us anything, but that's what we'll try. So first of all, they're kind of olive draft green. I know you can get these in different colors. Let's see how you open them up. Okay, they kind of just pivot out like that. And assume the same thing over here. So you have a pretty wide, flat headpiece. That's going to be pretty comfortable. Uh, obviously electronic, so you have wires that go into both sides of the earpieces, you have the power switch right here, which looks like a little tiny rubber wheel. And I know it kind of clicks there. So all the way off is this way, I think. Click on, and then this is going to be your volume adjustment. Seems like it rotates a long ways. So I'm just gonna turn it off here. I assume this is a microphone, and this is a microphone. So what it will be, what's interesting here is that supposedly you do get like, uh, parabolic or Doppler effect. So, you know, you can hear things on this side because this microphone's gonna pick it up. If things are moving, you, you, you have independent microphones for each of these headphone pieces. Uh, plastic housing here, that seems pretty nice. I know, I think you can replace these cups here. They seem pretty decent. They're kind of rubberized and squishy. And I think they should provide a pretty good seal. I know a lot of guys talk about liking gel cups. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be uh, an optional accessory they might be and then you have a little bit of a foam pad right there where the speaker theoretically is gonna be now we do have to figure out how to put 
There is a three and a half millimeter jack there. So again, I'm not entirely sure what you'll use that for, but it is there. Now we have to put in the batteries and I'm gonna reference the like. instructions for that. The headphones are the same except for this black plastic cover on this side. And I think you push it up here according to the instructions. There we go. Looks like it kind of disconnects and then falls off just like that. And then we can put in the batteries here. So, positive on that end, positive on that end, and just replace this, press it down there. Now, you don't have to be a recreational shooter to use these, I'm assuming, you know, anywhere that there might be really loud noises that you need to protect your hearing from, you know, you're working on a construction site, working uh, at an airport or an industrial site, or even just working at a... A place in an industrial park near the airport can sometimes maybe uh, be useful. And, you know, lumberjack friends, I would definitely check it out. So, now that the battery's in, I think you just turn it on here. And let's give it a try. Alright guys, so well, after some experimenting, what I think I'm going to go with is a screwdriver and then this tin bucket. Because when I tap it, man, that's loud. I mean, it's it's... I'm sure it's not as loud as a gunshot inside a gun range, but it is loud and it's painful on my ears. Yikes. So what I've gone ahead and done here is uh, got these fixed so that they hopefully will clamshell together here and I'll put the phone in voice recording mode between them and we'll give it a shot. All right, guys, so I have it in audio recording mode and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bucket here a couple times with my screwdriver. Okay, that's pretty loud. It hurts my ears. Um, obviously not as loud as replicating a, a firearm, but now let's go ahead and put the headphones onto the microphone portion of the, the uh, recorder here and see if we get anything uh, noticeably different. Okay, so now I have the headphones on the recorder the level and the volume setting is actually where i put it when i was putting it on my head and tr testing out the sound and i thought i was getting um, a a much improved um, lowered noise level that was comfortable to me so again the seal around the recorder might not be great but here we go let's go ahead and tap this sucker So there it is with uh, the headphones around the recorder. And now I've removed the headphones and so I'll go ahead and listen to the audio recording and see if we can tell any difference. All right guys, so there you saw my uh, experiment. I was hitting this pretty good, man. I was trying to keep it consistent, but I was hitting it with some force. And it, and like I said, it's pretty loud. I think on the audio recording, it's, it's pretty clear that the high uh, decibel impact noise is absolutely reduced to a ear friendly level and I think it's gonna make a huge difference one just in obviously protecting your hearing but secondly to have the microphones that will allow some noise to come in so that you can hear people talking you can hear instructions you can have a conversation um, I think that's gonna make the your shooting experience a lot better but um, anything that you have maybe loud and ear protection issues like I said construction sites etc the other thing that I will say is that from uh, my experience using this, it's really kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's, it's weird in a cool way um, in that you can absolutely hear the things around you. If you crank the, the gain on this bad boy all the way up, I mean, you're hearing things like you're wearing a hearing aid. I mean, you can hear things that you're not really hearing in real life. Uh, and so that was actually pretty awesome. So you, there, there obviously is a level where it's probably too loud. You know, I kind of noticed that maybe I kind of rotated, once I turned it on, I only rotated maybe a quarter of the way where I was getting a good noise uh, pickup of the things around me and a really good deadening of the noise when I was banging on this thing. Um, it, it, I, it, it was almost funny because I didn't realize how loud I was banging it until someone upstairs started complaining. So kind of keep that in mind. The other thing is you do have 
like that Doppler effect so you can kind of tell where things are because you have two microphones feeding each ear independently. So that's pretty cool. The only uh, drawback I really see to this is that one, obviously you have to have uh, batteries to kind of get the full effect. I assume that when it's turned off completely and you put them on, they do kind of provide some hearing protection. And so, you know, if the battery is completely dead, at least it's just going to muffle everything. But the probably the weirdest thing, the biggest downside is that uh, your voice is kind of a little bit strange. So I can hear myself talking with them on, but it's kind of half muffled, half digitized. I mean, it's not super annoying. It's, it's a little bit like hearing your own voice feedback in a telephone. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's kind of a nitpicky thing. And... It, to be honest, it's not really picking it up well, which is why it kind of gives you a little bit of a weird effect. But that's okay. I mean, generally, I don't need to hear my own voice when I'm speaking, and, and sometimes it could just be kind of annoying and distracting. So there they are, the Howard Light by Honeywell uh, Shooter's Electronic Earmuffs. Uh, I really like these. These are certainly a nice uh, improvement over what I had, which was just low-tech earmuffs before. And so I'm looking forward to using these next time I'm out. Peter Von Panda, out.